Good day everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. On this video, I'm going to talk about how you can make your USB device work again. Through this video, I'm going to discuss various solutions. However, you do not need to execute them all. I just You just have to work your way down until you find the one that suits your case. So without any delays, let's get started. Now the first thing what you will have to do is, uh, as a first step, you will have to go ahead and check if the USB device is faulty or not. So uh, sometimes, the USB device itself responsible for USB ports not working. So if that's the case, um, before trying the other solution mentioned uh, solution, you should try to plug the USB device into another PC. If it works fine on another PC, then the USB device is fine. But it doesn't, then you will have to go ahead and try the next step. So make sure um, the device which are trying to connect on this PC also works on another PC. And um, maybe you can try uh, replacing the USB device and connect to this PC and see if that works to check if it is an issue with the uh, USB device itself. In case if these steps doesn't work, you will have to go ahead and uh, try the uh, second step. The second step is to go ahead and disable USB selective suspend feature. Now to do this, uh, what you will have to do is you will have to go to control panel you in the search click on the search and go ahead and type control click on the control panel now make sure you're in the uh, small icons or the large icons view either one of which under this section you will have to go to power option once you're on the power option uh, you may go ahead and click on change plan settings either one of these you can click on change plan settings under change plan settings it will take you to the uh, change advanced power settings right into this section okay once you are on the power options you will have to go to usb settings expand usb settings and then expand usb selective suspend setting now you would have if you're using a laptop you would have two different options battery and plugged in in case if it is a desktop you would have only one option listed here which would be a usb selective settings now under usb selective settings you will have to select and click on disable and you will have to uh, if it is a laptop you will have to go ahead and disable for uh, both the options so you click on disable click on apply and then click on okay now now once you have disabled usb selective suspend settings uh, you may go ahead and try to connect your usb drive and see if that works in case if this step doesn't work the next step is to go ahead and disable or enable the usb controller now this is another way to fix USB not working on Windows 10 is um, that is by disabling and enabling the USB controller. So to try to do this, uh, what you will have to do is you will have to open device manager to open device manager. The easiest way is to do a right click on the start button and click on device manager. In case if you get user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue expand device manager under this section you will have to look for usb serial bus controller or uh, in an ideal uh, condition it would be at the very bottom it will if you go by alphabetical order now under usb serial bus controller what you will have to do is you will have to click on usb composite device in case if you have two of it here you will have to go ahead and uh, uh, try this step follow this step for both the devices so you will have to disable device, click on yes. And uh, once it has been disabled, you will have to follow this st same step. You will have to go ahead and enable the device, right click and click on enable device. So you will have to follow the same step for the uh, second USB composite device. In case if you have three or four, you will have to repeat the same steps for all the four USB composite device, what you are seeing under uh, USB controller. So once this is uh, once you have tried this step, you can go ahead and check if your uh, if the issue has been resolved. In, now, in case if all these steps doesn't work, the next step is to go ahead and disable the fast startup. Now, in order to disable the fast startup, what you will have to do is you will have to go to control panel, 
click on the search and go ahead and type control click on the control panel under this section make sure you are um, view by uh, set to small icons or large icons then you will have to look for power options once you are on the power option then you will have to click on choose the choose what power buttons do under this section you will uh, the turn on fast startup would be grayed out you will not be able to make any changes so you will have to click on change settings that are currently unavailable in case if you get user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue once you click on this option um, you would be able to turn on fast startup so in case if it is unchecked you can go ahead and uh, leave as is in case if it is checked you will have to go ahead and uncheck it click on save changes and you will have to uh, check if the usb device issue has been fixed or not so if in case uh, if all these steps uh, are working uh, well and good in case if this doesn't work what i would recommend you to do is i would recommend you to go ahead and uh, restart the computer and see if the usb ports are working after restarting the computers even if uh, if, if the issue has been not resolved then the next step would be to go ahead and update your device driver the usb port drivers you may go ahead go to your computer manufacturer website and download the latest driver in case if you still have a problem after uh, downloading the latest driver leave me a comment in the comment section uh, definitely uh, i would go ahead and come back with the possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day